Today in Grand Photo 5, we are serving as a soldier in the United States Army under the National Guard, and we just got a report of a very bad accident nearby. So we will be using our Black Hawk helicopter to try to perform a medevac and get the person to safety. Now, before you guys all start yelling that this is not a black heart behind me, yes, I know I did that just so that you can write a comment about me being wrong. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and get this episode started. So we're gonna hop into the Humvee and we're gonna head over to the helipad now where our co-pilot has already pre-flight the aircraft and we are ready to kill all right here we go we have our black hawk this one does have the medevac uh skin on it textures i figured this one was pretty cool i did see a video of this being done in real life and i was like you know what let's see if we can do it in the game so let's hop in and get started engines are on now let me check with dispatch and see where we are going all right looks like it's going to be on great ocean highway multiple vehicles involved people are trapped so fire department is currently working on them but it's not looking good so let's head to the area and see if we can help out Oh, it's literally right outside of our base. Wow. Looks like we got a fire jet landing, too. We got to watch out for that. Touchdown. Wait, it's on the beach? Oh, it's not on the highway. It's on the beach. <laughs> All right, so the police officer on scene said that if they have a area clear for us to land near the scene. Looks like it's gonna be this area in between the scene and the police car. So I'm gonna try to put the helicopter down on this dirt road. And we are down. All right, let's check out this scene. So it looks like we have two vehicles involved and these things got banged up pretty badly. Probably was street racing back here in these dirt roads or something like that, I don't even know. But uh, yeah, we got two patients. Let's take a look at them. All right, they haven't been stabilized yet by EMS, so I'm gonna help them out. Let's see if we can uh, get this guy up first. Now we may have to transport both of them to Los Santos. Okay, we got this guy up. We're gonna check his vials. We'll also do a injury assessment on him. So he has broken arm. Uh, you can actually cut out the injury assessment portion. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy onto the stretcher. We're gonna get the life pack turned on so we can monitor him. And we'll also get some IVs flowing as well. So he's in critical condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him loaded up into the ambulance. <laughs> I just realized I said ambulance. I meant the helicopter. You guys know what I mean. All right, let's get him loaded up into the Blackhawk. We have the first patient inside of the Black Hawk and we have our medic taking a look at him, making sure that he is good. I'm gonna grab the second person and get him into the aircraft so that we can get to the hospital. Oh shit. All right, let's see if we can get this guy up. And it looks like we were able to, so let's quickly get him out of here. I'm gonna place him onto the stretcher. Jesus All right, we got him Christ. stable. Let's get him onto the helicopter and get out of here.
we have all of the patients loaded inside of the helicopter and our medic is gonna keep an eye on their vitals so let's get them to the hospital as soon as possible we will be going to los santos as they do have some better trauma centers down there these guys are gonna have a nice view as we fly with the windows or the doors open <laughs> Alright, so let's get him to the hospital as fast as possible. Now we do have a drop off at the army base. We also have one in Polito Bay, but like I said, we need to get these guys to a trauma center. So that's why we're flying directly to Los Santos. And obviously we will get there faster than an ambulance. So that's why we were called. Alright guys, I have the hospital in sight directly in front of us. We're going to start our descent. Helipad is in sight. So we're going to land right there where the marker is. And we are down. Hospital staff is taking the patients into the hospital. Looks like they're going to be okay. Now that the passengers has been offloaded, we can head back to the military base. And I'm actually going to let my co-pilot fly now. And I'm just going to hang out at the door and have a little bit of fun. Now we get to enjoy one of the best seats in the house. Just hanging out the side of the Black Hawk. Got a medic back here. Did a great job saving those guys' lives. And... Now we'll head back to the base. Got the Vinewood sign in the background. Beautiful view of Vinewood. Top down view of the hills. Try some of the other seats back here. Um, I don't want to kick him out of his seat if I put him in the wrong one. Let's try seat number three. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, now we're going to use this menu here to land the helicopter. We just got to set that to be pointing that way. And right about there looks good. So cool, we're just sitting in the back of a helicopter being flown by 
the pilot and we did our job and now we can kind of just relax on the way back to base. Very different point of view when you're back here. That is awesome. All right, we are done. So guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, check me out over on Facebook as well when I've been uploading a lot of videos over there. So check it out. Also, my website, acepilot2k7.com. Link down below in the video description. You can find all of the mods I use as well as tutorials on how to install them. I also got bonus videos on there as well. So check it out. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.